Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Well, as you can see this morning, we're going after the small stuff. Now, just so uh, we all know what we're talking about here, that's three inch diameter top off of a tree. Down here, we've got uh, about a two inch diameter. So my customers like to have their wood at least four inches in diameter and larger. And understandably, they're the customer and that's what they want to burn. But I can't leave this small stuff in the woods. To me, it's a, a huge waste. And even though it's going to take a lot more time to process, and I'm probably not going to make as much money as I normally would, this is the right thing to do. So we're in this morning, and we're uh, gathering up all this small stuff, and we're going to put it through the Hacky Pilke processor. Stick around. So guys, I can handle this small stuff by hand, but uh, you can see I can pick up 10 or 12 pieces with the grapple, uh, so I'm not as productive or efficient when I'm doing it by hand, but uh, you can move this stuff around on your own. Okay hey guys, so uh, it didn't take us very long to put a load on the trailer. Um, I was just measuring it up. Most of this stuff is two inches to three inches in diameter. And uh, it's gonna be tedious to put it through the processor and it's tedious to cut it and pile it in the woods. But like I say, I can't waste this wood. Um, it's all gonna burn. And my plan is to put this right through the processor get it loaded right onto the trailer off the chute of the processor so I don't have to touch it and pile it up. And I'm gonna give somebody a deal. Um, I've got a friend that runs an organic flour mill and uh, a lot of people in the community cook with his products and they like to do it over wood-fired stoves. And I'm thinking that this might be the perfect size wood uh, for some of the people that are, are using the wood-fired cook stoves. So that's gonna be my plan. I'm gonna get it through the processor on the trailer I'm going to put it out there for sale, give somebody a deal, and hopefully I can turn this wood around over the weekend and get back to the big stuff.
Okay guys, so I would consider this quite a mess if you look at that table. Um, this is not gonna be easy to put through the processor, but I thought that I would load the table up and probably handle a lot of it by hand and get it to the conveyor. Uh, but that's the price you gotta pay when you wanna do the right thing, right? Sometimes it's not easy. Okay guys, so uh, we've been at it for maybe 10 minutes and we're starting to put the wood through. You can see that it's pretty messy on the table and uh, I thought that that might be a better idea than just loading the table up with one, one row of wood. 
but I'm um, spending quite a bit of time to sort that mess out. So I think the next time I load the table, I'm just gonna put on uh, individual trees and let them ride up against one another and not double and triple stack them. I think that's gonna make me more efficient. The other thing that I tried to do was I was feeding two trees in at once because I know the, the processor will handle it. The problem with that is, is they're different lengths and uh, you spend more time trying to uh, figure out where to cut when you're coming to the end of the, the log or the stem than if you just put one on and ran it through. Now you'll notice that I was cutting pretty fast. That's because I wasn't cycling the splitter on every piece of wood. I was uh, cutting my 16 inch piece of wood, advancing the conveyor and cutting again. So I think my cycle time was down pretty low. The problem is, is it's small diameter wood and it's not gonna add up fast, but that's okay. We're doing the right thing today. We're not doing the profitable thing today. Okay guys, so that's uh, the first load of small stuff from the hydraulic trailer. This dump trailer will handle about one and a quarter cords of firewood stacked in here loose or dumped in loose, not stacked. Um, obviously we're gonna have to have a lot more wood in here uh, to get plus or minus one cord. So we're gonna go back to the woods with the Kubota B2601 and the Cranman hydraulic timber trailer and uh, bring out a second load and see where we're at at the end of that one. Okay guys, so I've got Karen behind the camera today and I asked her to time me and see how long it would take to put one of these small diameter firewood poles through the processor. And uh, I think it was probably a 10 foot long piece, probably uh, three inch diameter. And she said that I put the whole thing through in 20 seconds. Now, if you added that all up, um, it probably wasn't any more than uh, two sticks of uh, eight inch wood. But uh, I would say that I am about four times less efficient putting this small diameter wood through compared to the regular size that I cut. Um, but anyway, you know, uh, sometimes you have to do the right thing, like I've been saying in this video, and that sometimes doesn't align with the most profitable thing. But uh, we're gonna finish this wood up and uh, we're gonna give somebody a deal. Okay guys, so we got a couple of the hydraulic timber trailer loads put through the Hacky Pilke firewood processor. Uh, the trailer is about two thirds full. I've got another load back in the woods that I'm gonna bring out in the morning to finish this up. And then I'm going to get it online and uh, give somebody a deal on some of this uh, small diameter wood. So like I always say, if you enjoy our videos and you want to see more of them, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the videos with your friends and family, and come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one.